Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And we will look at the array of dating profiles and we have a little intro here. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get into it. You could be attracting men who don't take the lead, who are not in the driver's seat of the relationship. You're having to take control of every situation. You feel like you're having to make the plans. You're having to follow up with him to follow through. I just posted a video about this when I talked about the masculine feminine roles. Another perspective of this is with inner child wounds, if his mother didn't fully lead him, didn't give him the love that he desired, if he was maybe emotionally abandoned, physically abandoned, maybe he was neglected. His inner now obviously there's a whole bunch of crap. It is. Okay. She's acting like, this queen here is acting like she has nothing that she has to improve on. It's just men. Okay. It's just an insane uh, viewpoint of things. And when you go down that path of, I don't have to improve, it's just you men who have to improve. This kind of attitude is what we're seeing out of modern women. It's just always us that have to get better. You men need to do better. We're awesome, we're queens. A lot of the time, she's talking about motherly type thing. They'll think if you say, hey, you know, clean the house, cook some dinner, I'm your mother. No, that's just what women used to do and do it willingly and happily. But now the modern woman, anything you ask to do often is, oh, that's, you're being demanding. You're being this, you're being that. She continues. Your child is going to attract women that are more powerful, more in the masculine, more successful. They like to get shit done. They like to- No, you're just masculine, ma'am. Men didn't make you masculine. The womanist movement did and said, fine, be that way. But the thing is, then you, you guys don't want guys like this. Beta! You don't want, follower type dude. So now you're gonna say, well, they're followers because of this. No, you've chosen to be the way you are, ma'am. She continues. You take control. He can drop into his little boy and you start to take the mother role. Our inner child is always gonna do everything in its power to get its needs met. So if its needs weren't met during childhood, he's going to attract or be in partnership with someone who meets the needs of that of his mother. It's not until he starts to heal his mother wounds that he will then be able to step into his man where you can pull him up into his king and not stomp him down into his boy. Because a lot of times when we try to take the mother role, we are trying to almost parent our partner. And parenting our partner does not create that polarity where there is that attraction, there is that zest, there is that connection. So instead of stomping him down into the boy, how can you call him up into his king? The way you can do that is you can heal the reason your savior complex, your he God, it must be amazing being so perfect, ma'am. It really must be. That you don't need to improve at all. It's just the men. It's just the men that need to do this. No, ma'am, you choose these type of men then. If you keep choosing the bad boy, the man who does need healing and all this crap, that is on you ladies. I've seen it. Gentlemen, you can put this in the comments, how many poor choices women make about the men they're attracted to and then want to blame men. Let's get to the nonsense. So before we get into the, the great profile today, I have a couple call outs. Uh, we have a couple super chats, Steve and Bud, you both made super chats. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I've been a total slacker about getting our Patreons on here because uh, it's different than our the YouTube membership. Darren, Robert, Michael, you all joined the, our Patreon. Thank you so much. I, I just really appreciate all of your support. You all get a round of applause. And as always, if you do join either of these things or a membership, you always get call, call outs. And uh, again, I really appreciate the support. So on Day Delusions, we always start with a great profile. This is the great profile today. And she's 39 and this is a fantastic profile. There's just really nothing I can say. She does everything right. 39, she, now. Other than the fact that she mentioned the love languages, I guess that <laughs> that's not a great thing, but her critics are great. She just knows what men want. She's a couple nice things, a couple nice pictures, lets the men come to her. She's senior quality control specialist and says my love language is physical uh, quality time and physical touch. I don't mind these as much as some of the other that isn't the free things one or the acts of service one. So if there's going to be love languages that you can buy into, but in general, love languages are dumb, but still, what a great picture. 
having a drink. She has a nice smile. She has her hair done. She's wearing a dress. She continues. Now, what a beautiful woman, ma'am. <laughs> she's no model, but she's attractive. Now, if she's only, as, as always, a caveat, if she's only swiping on Chad, that's a problem. But she's, what, a size zero, size two. She's kept in amazing shape. She clearly works out. She's taken care in her appearance, ladies. You can't expect the hottest dudes on the app and men that you're highly attracted to when you're no prize yourself. And she's not gorgeous in the face, but she's a very attractive lady and she knows what men want. These are good pictures, she continues. Here she is with her friends, wearing something else, very attractive, very seductive and says, I bet you can't beat me at chess. It's another nice thing she plays chess. Ma'am, good job. Good. She continues. Here she is, she looks like she surfs. She looks great in a bikini. She says, let's make sure we're on the same page about kids. I'm not looking to have my own. Ma'am, that completely makes sense. You're almost 40 years old, but I'm totally open to dating someone who already has them. So she wants to fit into a man's frame. Now you're gonna ask, how did this lady get to 39 and doesn't have a man? I don't know. We don't know what's happened to her. Maybe she was in a long relationship and he left. And you know, she not, they're not all modern women. Gentlemen, we have to continue to go along this path. They're not all modern women. They, some of them get it. She has great pictures. She had someone take her pictures. Ladies, if you find the channel, we're gonna see so many profiles today where they're taking a bunch of damn selfies and stuff. It looks like you have no friends. Ma'am, you get a round of applause. I can't say it enough. When you wanna differentiate yourself, and this is for gentlemen too, get good pictures. Take care in your appearance. Get on your purpose, gentlemen. That lady, she's a very attractive lady. She will find men who will take the deal. But of course, that profile is rare. Let's go to nonsense. So she's 38 and a VP of UX design. So she's a boss queen. Says about me, give me this another shot. INFJ, nerdy. Now we've seen, that's a lot of people, or a lot of people have commented about these the Myers-Briggs, that's one of the Myers-Briggs personality tests. Look it up, you can Google that. It is funny when you guys ask about it, you can just get Google and look up these things if you want. But then you nerdy, dry sense of humor, dog lover. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Yeah. Ladies, I'll say this once again, when you talk about your dogs and all of your things, your kids and dogs and all this stuff, it's just another thing men have to step over to deal with. And you look at that last lady, here she was gorgeous going, hey, I don't have kids of my own, but if you have kids, it's okay. Saying, I'll fit into your frame. If you want the kind of men that you guys keep swiping on dominant alpha Chad type guys, they're gonna want you to fit in their frame, not the other way around, but she doesn't get it, she continues. Homebody, empathetic, creative, but she loves true crime podcasts. Mara, that's for you. Yeah, if she likes bad boy Chad, you all like true crime. You love dangerous guys. And this is the thing, we're about to see a meme about this. You want dangerous guys that you think you can reform and change. Just like they're like, oh, get in. If you get into your mother role, it's just a bunch of nonsense. You guys choose bad boys. You choose men who were damaged and broken and then complain about there's no good men. There's tons of good men. They're just not all super hot. You're goddamn right. Continues. Lover of books, I love my life as is, but it would be great to find a happily ever after with the right person. And ma'am, I have this for you too. Two of the most damaging fairy tales that we still believe as adults. Number one, women believe that the good looking bad boy is actually just waiting for the right woman to turn his heart around. He's a bad boy because he believes that he can play women just as stupid as you fall for it. Number two, guys believe that the girl who's the beautiful princess on the outside has the heart on the inside. And all she needs to know is that he loves her more than anybody else. If he can heal her fear of abandonment that makes her treat him like trash and stand outside of her window with the stereo over his head playing a love song to convince her how much he loves her that the inside will end up matching the outside it doesn't work most of the time the outside the most beautiful women in the world are some of the most narcissistic abusive self-centered shallow and absolutely worst moms for your future children that you can find There you go. Ladies, if a guy has the tats and is buff and has all this stuff going for him, has money and these type of things, 
he might not be the best relationship partner. The Chad type guy, I mean, I love my Chads and Tyrones, but are they always the best relationship partners? You all are looking at the same, swiping the same dudes, expecting them to take the deal and to wife you. And then just reverse, it was great advice as well. Some of the hottest women are the most narcissistic. They absolutely are the ones who talk about, we're gonna see a profile later, talking about how she's all that and she's not even all that. That's the problem. We've got now sevens going, I'm all that, I'm a queen. Spoil me and all this garbage. Man, aptly ever after, you're 38 years old. Grow up, do this. You gotta grow up. It's not gonna be exactly that way. And if you wanna find the right person, you have to go after them. You have to compete for the men you want, ma'am. And they're not gonna always be hot bad boys. She continues. And she's got two kids, but she didn't mention them. She says, open it, kids. She's got a picture of two kids. I had to blot out and put them on her damn dating profile. And then says, non-negotiable, you must be an animal person. I have two dogs and a cat that identifies as a dog. They are very spoiled and very loved. Ma'am, nothing about this is enticing. You've got dogs and cats and a kids and all this stuff a man has to get through to get to you. Why would he do it? You are attractive enough, but you seem completely self-centered, thinking that a guy is gonna swim through all this because you've made money. She's, she's made the money, she's a VP. She probably makes 150, 200,000 dollars a year and thinks that's gonna lead to dating success. It doesn't matter to men, she continues. She then says, I'm hoping you, I hope you're ready for a big list. Are authentic, genuine, kind, laid back, intelligent, passionate, driven, and dominant. Don't use emojis excessively, photo filters, or set unsolicited selfies. Ma'am, I have this for you. <laughs> Ma'am, you want sexy, dominant, laid back, Chad, who sends the type of pictures you want all the time. What do you mean send unsolicited selfies? What's wrong with a selfie? Now, I, I made a joke about being a nude or something, but man, what are you even getting at here? Did your ex send, what's wrong with a selfie? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You all just build this man in your head. I mean, I want you to look at this list. Let's take it one step back and look at this for one more second. Authentic, genuine, kind, laid back, but dominant and brilliant and passionate and driven. Why? We, and then swim through my dogs, cats, and kids to get to me. Ma'am, you sound insane. I'm going to send you on your damn way already. That's why you will buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she's 44, has her dumb pronouns, and says, Yes, I work. So you know it's going to get good real fast. And says, Mother of two seniors. My daughter is graduating high school this year in 2023 and my son college. Lots of me time. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Man, why do we need to know this exact information? You all act like AI computers writing about your lives and their lives are boring and that's the issue when they're just talking about their kids. I have kids too, ma'am. I don't talk about my dating profile. It's completely irrelevant. Right. He continues, which I'm learning to enjoy, but I would still like to find someone who has similar interests and values. Not single, I'm just dating myself. Yep, they want to find a clone of themselves in Chad's body. It's not how it works, ma'am. She continues. She then says, favorite quality person, patience, because I struggle myself, but I'm actually working on this. Once again, you men be patient. You men be better. You men be sexy. You men do the things we want. And I can just be impatient. Man, you're 44 years old. You're not getting younger. The, I just can't believe you write stuff like this. I, I can't be patient, but you need to. She continues. She then says, perk first date, hiking, a farmer's market, or a visit to the psychic. Use my psychic powers to seek help from beyond. I shall now channel the ghost of Lou Costello who will guide us to this soul in distress. Hi everybody, it's me, Lou Costello. All right, what's the name of the guy we're looking for? Well, he's an Asian fella, Melvin who? That's what I want to find out. What? <laughs> Ma'am, you are this. 
The bitch is crazy. Visit a psychic? Why would you visit a psychic on a first date? What are they gonna tell you? I mean, I just can't believe the hiking forest. How this goes, hiking forest market or a psychic? <laughs> you guys, I mean, you just gotta be kidding me, don't you? So, <laughs> this lady's 40 and says, This year I really wanted river cruise on the Danube. $100 billion. <laughs> so, I had to go look this up and just, I wanted to really consider because. Ladies, if you find the channel, she's putting this in her dating profile. Much like if a man put in his dating profile, this year I really want to have a threesome. Would you think that he's just randomly saying, I want to have a threesome? Or does he want you to have a threesome with him? See that what I'm saying? So when you put stuff like this in your dating profile, it's telling us that you want a man to take you on a river cruise on the Danube. So I went and looked up all this. So cost for a two week cruise on the River Danube, including airfare, hotel, and food from the US to Budapest. So let's assume I looked up Chicago, but most of the cities were about the same. Obviously if LA might be a little further, but I'll let you, I'll give you guys a few seconds to think about how much this would cost per person. <clears throat> well, that's right. $15,000 a person for this kind of trip. And she's putting it in her dating profile. And if anyone tries to argue this, this is her next picture. She then says, I won't shut up about traveling. The only kind of guy who would swipe on a profile like this is this kind of guy. Same. 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 Ladies, if you want a man, you're going to have to be what they want. You can't just come on here and dump a bunch of things that you want in your profile and think it's going to be good enough. At 40 years old, ma'am, you're in the hair. Into the danger zone. It just isn't going to work this way, ma'am. You're not 20 anymore. Guys are not gonna whisk you around the world doing all this crap unless he's like 80 years old. We continue. So she's 45 and this is about me. Sexy. I'm dead sexy. Look at my sexy body. Oh. This is the Lizzo effect. This lady is absolutely dead. That's a huge bitch. Should not be talking about how sexy she is. She continues. Fabulous. Fun. Let's chat. See if there's mutual interest in me. Ma'am, how can we know that you're so fun and fabulous? What if what is fabulous about you? I'm curious. Ladies, can you imagine coming across a guy's profile that looked anything like this? And he's like, I'm fabulous and fun. You'd laugh him off the planet as well. You she continues. If you're only interested in being pen pals on this app, keep moving. Don't what you doing and good morning me to death. Or here's another idea that's gonna be very controversial. You could shut the f up. You honestly can't make it up, really. This lady is 400 pounds. Says nothing about what she'd be or do for a man. And it, when she's saying, when guys go, hey, what are you doing? Or good morning, it's not good enough. Simple pleasantries for modern women aren't good enough. Whisk me off to the Danube, take me traveling, do things for me. What is in it for the man, ma'am? We continue. Today's comment. And it's from CensorTube. He's a loyal and true friend of the channel. Says all has all kinds of amazing comments. Says, wow, a 50-year-old single mom with a kid in an RV. This is from last episode. That's like a great environment for a kid to grow up in. <laughs> 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 she looks reasonably good for her age. And probably there are men out there who would save her and her kid. But they are all probably all beneath her. You know, you never know. And that's the thing. She uh, was 50 plus years old in her some sort of redone bus with her kid. And she was talking about dating. Man, where are you gonna take the guy? It's like you, they're gonna be all right in the middle of the kid watching. I mean, I don't even know what she was getting at. Even while she lives in an RV. Yeah, and that's the modern woman right now. Demanding about what men are, skipping over tons of good men who actually would give her relationships and things like that. 
because of they're chasing the top men. If you don't, if you, the first episode, this is your first episode, women only swipe 4.5% of the time in these apps. Men swipe 62% of the time. Men are incredibly less picky, and it's not just for bedroom fun. I've had so many people try to argue, oh, it's just for bedroom fun. No, it's not. There's tons of men who give them relationships, but they're not good enough because they all are being told how perfect and goddesses and queens they are in tens, and it's so unrealistic, and we continue. So this lady didn't clean up her house, says she's a nurse and is 23 and says about me, mentally unstable nurse. Yeah, you can tell ma'am, you're for the streets. It's, it's real clear. Then she says for $200, send me a cash app. Because her, this is her cash app. Ma'am, I have this for you. <laughs> Ma'am, are you a nurse or a lady of the night? She says she works out often. Hang on. Stop the cap. Oh, you don't, man. We work out eating often. Look at the red flags already, too. I mean, <laughs> red flag. Stop. My God. And they always say men need to do better. We need to do better. And the funny part is. I actually preach that on the channel. Gentlemen, stay on your purpose. Get fit. Be the best version of yourself. Ladies are being told, do whatever you want. Be whatever you want. Ask for trips and money and men get nothing in return. Why would you do it, ma'am? I'll ask you again. <laughs> Continue. So she's 46 and says, sweet, Southern with a dash of sass. How about new? Men don't want sassy women, ma'am. I have a 25 year old married daughter and a three year old grandson, ma'am, that is a single mom and grandma starter pack. <laughs> Ladies, why are you so specific? Why do you need to be so specific with this kind of stuff? That you have. Also. Ladies, I don't know a man in the world that wants to have bedroom fun with grannies. Putting this just lowers your chances of meeting a man. But she's not done being completely full of herself. She continues. No more kids for me. Prefer if you have teens. I have a big fur baby. Nope. Oh, my family lives in a certain place. Plus, my awesome job is here. So not looking to relocate anytime soon. Not looking to get married. A committed life partner would be great. No ex drama. My best friend is male. So if that's an issue, keep scrolling. That makes me angry. Yeah, I don't. We don't care, really. The thing is, though, you are the one who wants to find a man. And you think he's going to fit into your frame with your kid and grandkid and your dog and where you want to live. It's all about you and that you have to accept that your best friend is male. Again, what is in it for him, ma'am? She's not even average. And it's just they, they're they so full of themselves. They're being told that they can just be whatever they want and find the men of their dreams. She continues. Not 420 friendly, not like for hookups, picks are current. I know my worth and mammoth this for you. you know it's all about me. You know it's all about me. In these movies, it's this media. Men aren't watching media like this. They're watching media going, I don't understand what's happened to modern women. Not, oh, we're just all perfect and kings. That's what they're being told. They're being told things like this. There's a coldness that you have to accept when you're a man. Only women, children, and dogs are loved unconditionally. A man is only loved under the condition that he provides something. She continues. And I still think that maybe one day I will be able to give my heart to someone without the worry of having it returned to me broken. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would. <laughs> Ma'am, you're not getting the men you want because of one person, you. 
You had a kid real young. I don't know what happened to your husband. Now you have a grandkid. You're not even 50 years old and you want a man around your age that you're attracted to, to live in your frame, to live, to go through your dog and deal with you have a male best friend who's probably into you. He's probably this. Sam, Sam, Sam. And so you can't find the men you want. So ladies, I just would say it over and over again. If you're not getting the dating outcomes you want, there's only one person to blame. It's not men improving. It's not men aren't this and men aren't that. It is you. We continue. So as I mentioned earlier in the episode, I honestly can't believe how full of themselves some of these ladies are when I read these profiles. And this is one of those. Here we go. So she's 33. Now she is fit. But she's not a model. She's an attractive lady, but she's an adjustable, let's say, you know, seven, seven and a half, maybe. And she is just going to be completely full of herself. I hope you're ready about me. I like to parachute on the weekends. One million dollar. Now, she might mean skydiving, but whatever. Either one is very expensive. I can't imagine how much that costs in every weekend, ma'am. I Hang on. Stop the cap. Are you paying for it? She continues, if you didn't put a ring on it, we are, we are friends. What? <laughs> what? I guess she's saying right here that if you didn't put a, okay, so she only can be friends with guys who didn't put a ring on it. So if you don't immediately romance her, I guess that's what she's saying. <laughs> okay, that's, good luck to do on that one, ma'am. Continues, I am very spoiled, so please come prepared or not at all. One billion, gajillion, fifillion, shabadooly million, shiny, commonly million yen. A 33 year old woman, ma'am, grow the fuck up. Seriously, very spoiled. And this is why you don't spoil your kids and you don't spoil women. Gentlemen, never do it. They get entitled and she continues, future stay at home trophy wife whose primary focus is going to yoga classes. I'm the step pet mom, not birth type mom. <laughs> 100 billion dollars. She's lazy. Ma'am, you're just a lazy modern woman who doesn't want to work. And here's the thing, ladies, if you want to find and be this kind of stay at home trophy wife. You better look the part. Ma'am, you're a seven, seven and a half. Are you swiping a man 20 years older than you to be a stay at home yoga class? And also, is she ever gonna appreciate you gentlemen? Is she ever gonna really appreciate any man with this kind of attitude? It's just all about what she wants. It's all about the things that make her happy. She continues, send me more than one message. I get a ton. I'm literally perfect. I, I just can't even imagine being around this lady. These were her other pictures. By the way, notice that she has no one to take her pictures. So here's a little selfie in her bathroom. Okay. Now she is skinny, but she, ma'am, you're no model. You're no trophy wife. Trophy wives, look up trophy wife, ladies. Their trophy wives are like the ladies who are married to sports stars, NBA star, baseball players, football players. Those women are model attractive and gorgeous. Ma'am, you're not. You're a little above average. You are fit. I'll give you that. You're not overweight. She has watched her diet. But it's just, it's gonna, she's going to spend all your money, drain you. And this is her final picture. This is filtered. She has no one to take her pictures because she probably doesn't have any friends because you're completely full of yourself, ma'am. And I'm going to let the Godfather send you on your damn way. Now I'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching our episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and supporters. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you'd like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, you watch couple videos, go ahead and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I'll see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.